we're going to be putting our cabinets in here. I have my 1x3s, 1x2s for the cabinets that will be going in. Here we go. We have a ProMaster, so basically we have almost like a 45 degree angle right here, straight and straight. We are starting to cut little pieces for our templates. When we went to go get our electrical looked at, they said that cardboard would be our best friend. So that is what we are doing right now. Okay, so we are making dividers for cabinets right now. Um, the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is we have this square of wood here. <laughs> Very clearly does not fit into where we need it to fit in. There are two different angles we have. We have this angle here and then we have this angle you can use as big spacer as as large spacers as you need the space between that panel and the van is is very small so he's using a, a very small spacer but i mean you can use spacers as as big as you could possibly think of lou just use like a five inch one and what he's doing with that piece of wood is using it as a scribe so that he can get the curvature of the wall. So basically the spacer goes up right next to the wall itself and he's just using a pencil. Val's <laughs> videoing, normally she's helping. So. <laughs> Here we are taking the template we made on our panel board and tracing it onto a three quarter inch piece of plywood and then cutting it out with a jigsaw. These will act as our dividers for the cabinets. We have the panels, at least for the back side. So this is gonna be an edge piece. So these are gonna, after they're painted and sanded, we'll go up in the corner and then we'll run some beams across, put on some face plates. So we cut hella uh, notches in here. Looks like a puzzle piece. To make that easier, we just grabbed like this tiny little one by two, stuck it up next to it, traced out the, oh. the bits, yeah. and then cut it out with a jigsaw. So we're about to speed this up, uh, or we're just gonna do it, and then you'll see what it looks like. We're about to connect all those that's our cabinets, or at least one. Put her there. All right, good morning, everybody. We got the cabinets, at least for any. We have this one section for above our back window. This will be our bed area. We're gonna leave this open because whenever we sit up, we don't wanna punch our head through the bottom of the cabinets. Probably wouldn't be too fun. We're just gonna do this side. Then on the other side of the shower, that's what we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna be building those cabinets, putting on the backing, the doors, putting on the face plates, the trim, uh, making that uh, shaker cabinet style door. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's a beautiful day. So even though I am a little tired, it's gonna be a good one. We're excited. The tricky part about these things, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you already know, every fitting is slightly different. And since nothing is ever square, Zach has a scribe taped to his pen. Heck yeah. And basically that spaces his, out, spaces his pen out from the wall and allows him to draw on the material and get the actual shape of the wall. If you connect those two, Bam. that'll be your, your uh, curvature, or what is it called? Your yeah. template. All right, so we have marked our spots that basically our beams are gonna be going on. To the best of our ability, I've gotten a cut out here. So we're gonna have beams on basically the four corners. So you can see that too. And this will be our cubby system on top of our window. If you haven't heard already, if this is your first time tuning in to our channel, we have never done any kind of woodworking prior to this. Oh. But here we are. Woo! I'm sure you just saw this bad boy get time lapsed. But now for the important part, let's see if it goes in. Because it's going up there. Check it out. So we still have to put on the shaker cabinets. We're gonna put in our microwave over here. She does, she does have good bones. <laughs> Short and durable. <laughs> <laughs> the day is still progressing. I think this is day two on cabinets, but we've really been at it for about like 30 hours since yesterday, midday. Um, oh, not too shabby for people who didn't know what soccer runs is going on. I don't know if you can see in here because it's so dark, but we finished the bottoms. So now we're gonna do the face plates. Tonight we are finishing the final cabinet for the van. So basically what we've worked on already is one over this window we've already worked on, the one on the opposite side of the shower we've already worked on, and now we're working on our kitchen one, which is a little more complicated because we have uh, just a really weird contour from the van. So it's irregular, it's not just a wall, and then an angle and another wall or the ceiling. It's all different shapes. So as you know, if you're doing this, this is incredibly difficult, especially if you've never done it before. So get a jigsaw, get a contour gauge. Now that we have these cut, take some measures, 
uh, with a tape measure. Basically find out the spacing for the one by twos and put that in. So what we got going on right now is because of this weird curvature and how this nose, if you will, is gonna stick into the piece of the van. These two are flush, at least right now. This one is not, and I think that's gonna work in the van. It's just not flush here because this is a flat surface and the van is not flat, so I'm really hoping that this works because I've made about five templates for that one piece, so. Okay. Oh, gee. All right, what is up, YouTube? I don't know if you hear this, but if you can, that is Fallon killing it outside making the joints for the cabinet doors. So um, we were really having some trouble trying to figure out how to go about doing cabinet doors because we didn't want to get a brad nailer. This is a wonderful way to make cabinet doors without using a nail gun. Here we are painting our cabinets. We went with navy blue exterior sides and bottoms and white doors. Wait until the end to see how they turned out. This is super exciting. This is going to be the entrance to our van. This is the side that you're going to see. All right, YouTube. So through Fallon carving the joints, we have safely secured all those. Took a little bit of finagling, but here we go. Here we are using our trusty concealed hinge Craig jig to install our soft close hinges. If you're doing cabinets of any sort, this is an amazing tool. We are back. Putting up the cabinets. Putting up the cabinets. Oh. Damn, that's hard. <laughs> and we're still not even done. Making so. the cabinets is hard. Hopefully putting them up is a much easier process. That's what we got. This one's still drying, so we're letting that dry in the bathroom, but hopefully this works. Lastly, here we are finally installing our cabinets into the van. We used relatively large screws, two to two and a half inches, and screwed them into the studs of our ceilings and walls. Make sure you have at least two people for this job. All right, as you can see, maybe up there, we have cabinets in the van now. All right, so tonight is the weekend before. First time actually seeing our kitchen top yeah. without a towel on it. And our, our our like things on there, like our spice jars, our knives. And... But yeah, so Fal's gonna do the honors and put that the in inaugural the... stick in it. Yeah, this is sweet. It's a really big moment for us, honestly. We've been preparing for this and this is literally the weekend prior.